President Joe Biden said ahead of a Friday briefing about hurricane damage that estimates are that Hurricane Milton alone caused $50 billion of damage. He also said his predecessor, former President Donald Trump, is just the biggest mouth for disinformation about the government's response. Biden said, the misinformation out there is not only just disgusting, but it is dangerous. The president added that the disinformation is a permanent state of being for some extreme people, but that he believes the country as a whole wants facts and bipartisan cooperation to address natural disasters. Biden said he would, absolutely, positively, ask Israel to stop hitting UN peacekeepers. In a response to a reporter's question about military aircraft being provided to Trump in the last weeks of the presidential campaign, Biden replied he should be provided with what was needed, as if he was sitting president. Well, folks, come on, I just received a briefing from senior leaders across the, our administration. This is the third major storm, third major storm to hit uh, California, I mean, excuse me, Florida in three months. And experts estimate that is in its early, early estimates. It could be more, it could be less, but estimate that it's caused damages around $50 billion from Hurricane Milton alone. Just alone, $50 billion. <clears throat> and I want everyone in the impacted areas to know we're going to do everything we can to let you help you pick back up the pieces and get back to where you were. The bottom line is this. We are in this for the long haul and the support. And, uh, and again, let me say that uh, the misinformation out there is not only uh, just disgusting, but it, 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 it's dangerous. It is misleading. And again, the first thing it does, and I mean it sincerely, I don't know, a lot of you have been through these crises, some of you personally. But people desperately want hope. Tell me it's going to be okay. Tell me it's going to be okay. And they're in real trouble, a lot of them. And to hear this malarkey you're hearing from some of the people, we, I want to get into it, but it lose my temper. But uh, anyway, the truth is we're providing all the resources that are needed. We continue to coordinate resources with local and state authorities, including food, water, medical supplies, and generators. And we will continue to work with the teams on the ground. I'm so worried about so you, the misinformation that you've been yes. talking about related to this uh, hurricane and the recovery efforts. Do you think it's temporary, or do you think and worry that this might be a permanent state of being for this country? I think it's a permanent state of being for some extreme people. Mm -hmm. But I don't think it's what the country's about. It's we're, we're breaking through with it. We're breaking through with the truth. And uh, if you notice, and I've really been proud, I've been on the phone and talking to a lot of Republican mayors and governors. They're standing up saying this is not, not Joe Biden, but conservative, hardcore, Republican governors, hardcore Republican mayors stand up and say, it's got to stop. It's got to stop. And, uh, and I, I believe it's, there's nothing permanent about it. I'm pleased that more Americans are coming together in a purely voluntary way. I mean, this is who the hell we are. When America's in trouble, we all jump in and try to help. You help your neighbor. And that's basically what's happened. But what, the thing that bothers me the most is there's a lot of people we get caught in these crises. We're basically alone. You know, widowers, wi 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 widowers, uh, people in hospitals, uh, people who are by themselves, and they don't know, and they lose contact, and they get, and they just get scared to death, scared to death. And anyway, so I think it's, uh, I think those who have been spreading these lies to try to undermine the opposition. They're going to pay a price for it. Do you think Donald Trump is singularly to blame for all of this? No, he's not singularly. But he's just the biggest mouth. <laughs> Mr. President, have you seen you on Speaker Johnson? On no, I haven't. Side? But we're going to. I've spoken to Republicans who want to speak to Speaker Johnson, and I think Speaker Johnson is going to get the message that he's got to step up, particularly for small businesses. Do you plan to be with DeSantis in Florida? I, I've spoken to him. Uh, if he's if he's available, yeah, he's been very cooperative. I've had no, we've had, we got on very, very well. Sir, Mr. President, are you, Mr. President, are you, are you, asking, are you asking Israel to stop hitting UN peacekeepers? Absolutely, positively. Mr. Well, President, are you requesting these military aircrafts in the final stages of the campaign? I'm sorry? Will you approve Mr. Trump's request to use military aircraft in the final stages of the campaign? As long as you didn't ask for F-15s. 
Well, I've told the assistants, look, well, I've told the department to give him every every single thing he needs for his, at any other, as, as he were sitting president, give all that he needs. If it fits within that category, that's fine. But if it doesn't, he shouldn't.